purpose of this demo is to show how to export reports and also how to set up schedules. First, we will take a look at how to export a report. In this example, we will export the CPU utilization report from the top 10 dashboard, but the same methodology can be applied to any report you wish to export. From this dashboard, we will first expand the report so that we are looking at the full report as seen here. Next, we will select the Export Data option from the top right of the report. From here, we can see the available formats for which we can export the report to HTML, Excel, XML, CSV, and text. The options here will vary between reports. If we take a look at the current device dates report, we can see that we can only export to HTML. As an example, we will export the CPU utilization report to HTML. Once it has been downloaded, we can open the report and view it directly in our web browser, as seen here. Next, we will take a look at how to schedule a report. Scheduling reports can be useful if you know that you want to look at specific data on a specific schedule. As an example, perhaps you want to view disk usage once a month for your virtual environment to keep an eye on disk space if you need to plan for space expansion. In this example, we could open the disk utilization report from the top 10 view. Like in the export example previously, we will expand the report. And now from the same menu, we can select the schedule export option. From here, we should give the export a name, a start time, a send interval, i.e. how often we want the schedule to occur, an export type, HTML, text, CSV, etc., a recipient email address, and a sender email address. We should then complete the email server settings, the SMTP server used to send the email, a port number, and the timeout can be adjusted if necessary. We also have options for using authentication and using an encrypted connection. We can then click the test email button and we should expect to see a toast message confirming the email was sent. If everything was set up correctly, an email should be received with the attached report. We can then click OK on the newly created schedule and another toast message should appear confirming that it was saved successfully. To view the saved schedule, we can go to Settings, Scheduling Activities, Schedule Reports, and from here we can edit the existing schedule. We can also delete it, disable it, or retest it. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this training.